Do you understand that abundance has a vibrational frequency? Yeah? And can you imagine what it feels like? What would the vibrational frequency of abundance feel like if you were going to put words to it? It would feel like ease. It would feel like freedom to choose, certainly. It would feel like eagerness. It would feel like clarity. The vibration of abundance feels like fresh air. It feels like clear path. It feels unlimited. It feels always flowing. It feels abundant, 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 meaning never ending, always flowing. It doesn't feel pinched off and it doesn't feel like jealousy and it doesn't feel like worry and it doesn't feel like fear. It feels like fun. It feels like sureness. It feels like certainty. So let's say that you're standing in a what isness of less abundance than you want. If you can take your attention away from your perceived manifestation of not enough and you can focus upon something else that feels like fun or something else that feels unlimited in other words you can use subjects other than the subject of money which may feel like not enough every time you think about it you can focus upon other things that feel like fun that feel unlimited that feel like clarity that feel like fresh air you can practice the seed vibration of abundance by staying off the subject if the subject calls something different from you you see what we're talking about a while back we said if you're working on abundance if abundance is something that is important to you then take money out of the equation because there is so much abundance that is abundantly around you that you can tune yourself to the frequency of that what's something else you want usually it falls into a handful of categories you want money you want a lover you want someplace really great to live you want a body that feels good so let's say that your intent is for a lover who isn't there a lover what does a lover feel like what does it feel like what does being in love what does a lover feel like what's it feel like feels happy feels high feels pretty damn good <laughs> feels like well-being feels like homecoming feels like security feels like appreciation feels like being appreciated feels effortless feels like ease feels natural feels like desire in other words if you can get to the general vibrational reason behind what you want which is what why do I want it the question why do I want this thing will bring to you then you can we know you can you can begin practicing the vibration of the manifestation that is coming now here's the thing that we know that often you don't know that we so want you to know and that is that everything you've asked for is coming and the only question is how long are you going to keep yourself from it that's the only question we're just feeling you out a little bit because do you know how much money is in your vortex do you know what a vortex even is the vortex is the vibrational holding place of all of the desires that you've launched so do you sense do you sense that we sense do you understand that there is abundance immeasurable abundance not recognizable by most of you abundance not yet experienced let's just put it that way by most of you abundance for you vibrationally queued up and that all you've got to do all you've got to do the only thing you've got to do is to practice the vibration of it and it makes its way to you in so many different life-giving fun ways but you've got to practice the vibration of it and that's what trips humans up we love you very much mm -hmm. you know what's coming next <laughs> 
But you don't, for the most part, practice the vibration of what's in your vortex. You practice the vibration of what's already manifested. And what's already manifest is a puny comparison to what's available to you. So we've made our point. You got to stop focusing so much on what is that it dominates your vibrational patterns. And you have to start focusing upon who you really are and how you want to feel. So when you think about the things you want, and there are a lot of them and it's wonderful. When you think about the things that you want and you think about why you want those things that you want, and it brings you to that vibrational reason, most of which is easily recognizable by you and easy to find by you and easy to discover all around you already. Because the feeling of money is not only available to you in money itself. Because you just said, it feels like fun, it feels like freedom, it feels like... And there is so much of your world that does not require money in order to feel those things, you see. If you're taking score of what is and using that as your basis of how you feel about you, you're missing the potential, you see. That's why, as we play with you, we've been helping you to approach your life in a different way than most of you have. If you've been following us for a while, you hear us say, you are more than the physical being that you recognize as you and you were source energy before you came into these bodies and the larger part of you still is well that's a lot to contemplate but if you can hook into that and start recognizing that there is an energetic part of you that often you pinch off but that you don't need to and you start watching in your personal experience for the evidence of when you're allowing it and when you're disallowing it now deliberate creation and all of the joy that is associated with it is yours you see. but most people aren't thinking of themselves as energy so they're not paying attention to their emotions they don't connect their emotion with alignment or misalignment but they do associate it with behavior so much of the world is trying to control behavior and failing at it because you can't control the behavior of others you don't have enough facilities to lock up the bad ones by your perspective so you can't control the behavior and so then you just feel like you can't do it and that contributes to your feeling of unworthiness where if you approach it in this other way I am source energy was and still am source is always flowing to me and knows who I am and what I want I can feel when I'm in alignment with that perspective, I can feel the compassion of source. When I feel love for myself or for another, I'm right there on the vibrational beam. I can feel it. And when I feel it on purpose and I sustain it deliberately and I practice it until I own it and then my life reflects it. Now, now I'm cooking. Now I'm living in the way that I said I would when I decided to come forth into this physical experience. And through the clarity of my example, every now and again, somebody will come up to me and say, how is it that you live the way you do? What do you know that I don't know? Say, I know that I'm really good and that I'm worthy of good things. And that everyone who has ever been consciousness is aware of me and is rooting for me. And that I have an entourage, that there is a collective consciousness that is so in love with me and significantly aware of me that there is no situation in which I can stand asking a sincere question from a point of really wanting to know that within a very short period of time the answer isn't flowing to me and it is so fun it is so fun to get to be the director of the answers because I'm the creator of the questions it is so fun to be the director of the expansion because I get to be the sifter of the contrast and the discoverer of the missing parts. It is so fun that I get to be the orchestrator of the solutions because I'm the discoverer of the problems. I found out I'm a creator and I found out that I'm good at it and I found out that I like it and I found out that it's fun and I found out that it's what I came to live. I found out that it's what we're all here about. I found out that you're one too. I found out that everyone around us is a co-creator. I found out that we're all in this together. I found out that life is supposed to be fun. I found out that I'm really good at this. 
I found out that sometimes I'm better than others, but I can always bring myself back to alignment if I try just a little bit. I found out that I just can't get enough of this and no one can. I found out that we all just stay in this game of creation eternally because it's what we're all about. I found out that goodness reigns and that well-being abounds and that I can promote that with the power of my mind and that it all hinges upon the expectation that I've fostered in myself and that I can deliberately foster an expectation. I can expect my government to function with clarity and wisdom and efficiency and love. I can expect that even if they don't show me evidence of it. I can still expect it. I can expect the world to be kinder even when it doesn't look like it is over here and over here. I can expect it because I have the power of focus. But more than that, I have non-physical energies encouraging me toward those thoughts and reveling with me when I find one and sending real bumps through me when I'm on it. And I can feel my separation, my self-imposed separation when I'm off of it. I just think we're all living the perfect plan, you can tell them. We we're born into this magnificent environment with such stability where abundance and well-being abounds and we get to jump right in and find our place and start immediately and every day in every moment of every day is a new start for me <sighs> playing with you in this way is not just good for you it's good for all of us playing with you in this way taking thought beyond in this physical environment that which it has ever been before is the promise that we all made to one another you said I'll go forth and I'll mix it up and I'll figure out some things that I would like to be improved or some things that I would like to be replaced or some things that are missing altogether that I would like to be there and I will ask the question and then I will find a way of holding myself in a place where the answer can be revealed to me and when we all get together in physical form we'll call that deliberate creation where I'll mix it up and I'll ask and those like you who don't know the specific answer because it's new creation that has never happened before are you following this you see when your life causes you to ask for something it's new creation it's new unto all of the universe so it's not just something that we say oh yeah we've been there and we've done that so now we'll figure out a way to give that to them is that when you are living your life it's all new creation that you are launching and we are holding the vibration hear this because it answers the first question and it answers the third question and then answers the second question it answers everything that we've been talking about here today all day long it isn't that when your life experience causes you to ask for something it isn't that source has already lived it and now is directing it to you like you do your children as you want them to understand history or as you're trying to teach them mathematics it's not about that at all it's that we understand and this is what we were talking to you about it is the answer that we kept giving back to you again and again we understand the laws of the universe we understand the consistency of the law of attraction we understand the sureness that anything that you want the sureness that anything you want can be revealed to you in full manifestation form we are so sure of that because we see it over and over and over again that we don't have to know the details of the manifestation in order to hold the tone of our certainty of our expectation of your positive results Are you following we don't need to know where your new employee is living we just know that the laws of the universe are such that if you can have a desire and have it active within you that the answer to that desire must come to you it is law and none of you can be denied ever anything that you want and it's that you over and over again proving that to yourself that is the leading edge that we are all about you see we haven't figured it all out and we're sitting with our feet dangling over the edges of clouds waiting for you to come along and pick up the crumbs and figure it out you are the leading edge creators who are coming to this leading edge conversations who are asking for leading edge creation you see 